cold drinks, that's the motherfucking recipe. Cześć, witajcie, z Jason Max, witam was w czwartym odcinku z The Book of Unwritten Tales. Dzisiaj jesteśmy już przed miastem ludzi, przed... Zapomniałem jak to miasto, coś z morzem się nazywa. Zobaczymy sobie pierwsze znaki. A i tak tam pójdziemy. Łąki. Nie wiem co to łąki. Płaski kamień. O no. There's a small stone beside the large one. It's half buried in the ground. Podnieś go. I've discovered the secret world of beetles, bugs, fleas and spiders. The beetles don't seem to like the bright light as they're scurrying into the shadows. Not that quick about it though. I could certainly catch a few, but where would I store them? The Beatles don't seem to. I could. A potem je złapiemy. Spójrzmy sobie na króliczka. Oh, fluffy, waffy little bunny rabbit. All white and soft and gentle and sweet. And I just want to cuddle it. And oh, I'm an adventurer now. I must act like one. It's a rabbit, a white one. Musiał go pogłaskać na kom. Mąć kapeczy. It survived the bloody battles and the decline of the town without a scratch, a sign of hope. And to też drugie stoi. Czy nie cieszysz? Mury. There have been some heavy battles fought around Seastone in the last few years. Kamień morski. It looks like the town definitely sustained some damage. No. I think that's the town's coat of arms, but it's pretty faded and dirty. You can't really see anything. Ja widzę. I don't think anyone in my family has ever set foot in a human town before, not even Grandad. Oh, Grandad. To my postawimy jako pierwsi z naszej rodziny. Uhu, spojrzymy sobie na straga najpierw. A pretty shabby stall. Doesn't look like anything's been sold here recently. Sprzedawał. Teraz to być. O, drzwi są wyczko. There are two signs on the door. One says, Master Marcus' Magic Mage School. The other says, Back soon. <laughs> Both signs are covered in cobwebs. They must have been hanging there for days or even weeks. Some boxes and cartons, they're all empty. The moving companies must have earned a fortune when the city was abandoned. Mm. They earned some good coin. They're firmly in goblin hands, and no one really likes to negotiate with them. Goblinów, czyli tak było w Harry Potter, że goblini by w banku pracowali gringota. What kind of name is that? Ten chance go wadzika. I've never been to a tavern with a more ridiculous name. Well, then again, I've never actually been to a human tavern before. No reason. A very dirty drain. The sewer should be down there somewhere. A very dirty. A potem tam będziemy mieć śmierdnicy. Opustoszałe to miasto jest. Something about the smell tells me it's probably full of rotten grain. Nothing for me there. Wejdziemy co do kosmodów. You heard a lot of bad things about rundown taverns. On the other hand, they're often the starting point of many a fantastic adventure. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't had enough of those yet. Tak są na przykład jak władz pysyni. Aha. Have you got form 12B for me? Oop, the blue one. No, it's just a green one. Hurry up. The post office is about to close for lunch. Wiecie w co grają? Post office? Where are they? I'll come with you. I need a delivery note and I want to send off a registered letter. That is Mr. Marcos. What are you doing? What do you think? You can see what we're doing. We're playing. Oh. Damn, I've forgotten my ID card. You can have a copy of your passport certified by a solicitor. Hang on, I'll mark the solicitor for you on the map. What are you playing? The only true kind of game. Grefa Bolarno. RPG. And what is this role-playing game all about? 
Savalan. It's set in a fantasy world, totally without dragons, orcs, and magic. But so instead, just like oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> come over here! I found the tax inspector. Wait for me. I'll be there in a sec. Once I've got this stamp, I can finally conclude the fiscal year. You know what that means? <laughs> tax office. Yeah. It's a great sneak to above, no? And you really enjoy playing the game? Of course. Certainly. You can escape the tedium of reality with all its magic and monsters. And you need to play the game. It's not only us who play this game. It's played all over the world. There are six people currently online. Well, four if you don't include us. But one's <laughs> just gone off to the toilet. <laughs> You get the grass country. And, and when when is the game over? When, when have you won? won? One. There is no winner. Just like in real life. The game has no end. You just keep on playing and oh oh a traffic warden's wanting to write me a ticket. Uh-huh. Leave her, leave her. That's a hard quest series. You can try to lodge a written appeal and then you have to oh. So the game never ends. Great. Might I ask you who you both are? Of course. I'm Jack Smith, level 42 consultant at a medium-sized cooperative bank. But I want to retrain as a tax consultant with specialization in tax-effective investments. They have really fabulous skill trees. Oh, good. And I'm Mary Ellen Skittles, level 40, Skittles. local government officer. My bicycle's got a three-speed gear. I have oh, a no idea what those two are talking about. Maybe it's a role player thing. We have him to call this name. Tell me what is Kimmy says about James and so. Who are you two in real life? Oh, right. I used to be a successful merchant. I had a shop here in town and lots of market stalls. Now all I own is that knackered old store outside the door there. No customers, no business. And maybe I could buy something from you. Yeah, yeah, great. Why, um, whatever. <laughs> and who are you? I'm Master Marcus, the local mage teacher. You're the mage teacher? Could you maybe... Shh, the game started. So does a machine. What does it do? What indeed. We type in our input and the machine shows us what everyone else is doing. It saves our equipment and controls the characters that aren't being controlled by other players. And how does it work? No idea. That thing is linked to a server somehow and that takes care of running it. Played. Best Come of luck on. in... wherever. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, that's about the silliest game I've ever heard of. <laughs> Why would anyone flee from their own world into a fantasy world in order to complete meaningless tasks? Nie wiem, pewnie. Czekajcie, zrobię malutkie cięcie. Już do was wracam, moi kochani. Przepraszam. Spójrzmy się na półeczki. Maybe. A skąd wiesz? Hmm. <laughs> To sobie weźmiemy słak. Splendid two pointer. Hmm. Perhaps the inn gets its name from the boar's head. No. A wooden box full of tools, including amongst other things, a saw. Yes, Pierre. Of course, the saw doesn't meet the norm tool safety regulations and it's a tad rusty. Still, I think it's usable. Yes. Maszynary <laughs> I może na chwilę wyjdziemy i złapiemy okay, then kilka plotkiew. Lubię tę muzyczkę taka co leć w tle. 
Halt! Access only for authorised persons. Shield hand, are you the guard of the upper gate? Dead right. And you don't have access to the upper town. Um, uh, as I already mentioned to you at the outer gate, I must speak to the Archmage. It's urgent. And as I've already mentioned to you, the guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. But why didn't you say you were the guard? Well, I wasn't on duty, and you shouldn't mix business with pleasure. Anyway, it's much funnier this way. <laughs> hmm, I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> Just almost kind of Where the town's inhabitants? Gone. Lots of them died when the town was besieged, and most of the survivors then went off with Gustav the Handsome to take revenge. Hmm. That was rather less than successful. And how many people are still living here? Not so many anymore. If the Archmage hadn't had his tower here, the town would have probably been abandoned. Sounds pretty sad. But things will get better. Wait until we win the war and everyone comes back. Well, those that are still alive. No one lives here. Who are you guarding? Oh, I'm not guarding the inhabitants. I'm guarding the town. I'm guarding it like my father did before me and his father before him. But not his father, he was a blacksmith. But his brother-in-law was a town guard and his father was a baker. Interesting. Olha, ali, tem um chão. Já vi de vez em quando esses artes magos. Way to get to see the archmage. What would I have to do? Only people with personal invitations from the archmage himself are allowed in. Do you have an invitation? Está com problemas de senha. Unfortunately not. Well, there you go. Without an invitation, but you could be admitted, of course. <laughs> if you were a mage yourself. Mages are allowed to speak with the archmage. Naturally. He's the head of the order, after all. You know any mages by... Well, I'd, I'd like to be one myself. <laughs> and I'd like to be a dewdrop <laughs> on a wood elf's butt cheek. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> Only mages or people with invitations can get into the tower. <laughs> so I'd be able to see the archmage if, if I was accompanied by a mage? No, the mage would be allowed up, not you. But you could say, give a message to the mage. But I must speak to the archmage himself and I have to give him something. Well then, you must be a mage yourself. Good <laughs> How do you know whether someone is a mage or not? Their magical aura? Or by the charisma and wisdom they radiate? By their mage diploma. <laughs> huh? Every trained mage has a mage diploma. They can show it to me here, and then I let them into the upper town. <laughs> so that means if I show you a mage diploma, I can see the archmage? Well, show me an honestly acquired mage's diploma, made out in your name, and I'll take you to the archmage myself. <sighs> if there's no other way, then I'll just end up being the first magician in the Weathervane family. <laughs> Good luck. You'll find the mage teacher in the tavern. Just see what he thinks of the eye. How can I become an accredited mage then? You? Not at all. Fuck you. <laughs> and how do others do it? Well, there are mage schools. There's one just down the street. Master Marcus's magical mage school. Oh my God, but that's Master Marcus over shut up shop weeks ago. Now he spends the whole day sitting in the tavern playing some kind of role play game. <laughs> I'm going to get my mage diploma. Just you wait and see. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man. There's no way I can do a full course of mage training just to get into the Archmage's tower. Don't maybe the dad. mage teacher will lend me a diploma. And once I've given up the ring, well, maybe I could really take a stab at it. Wait, <laughs> A basket. It belongs to Mr. Shieldhand. It contains the rest of his giant sandwich. This fruit looks like grapes. In truth, they're grapes from a poison ivy. I was bedridden for two weeks because of those as a child, and I read about Night Tilo's adventures. Oh, the Seastone City coat of arms. I recognize it from a map. It looks a little worse for wear, oh, like everything else here. Hmm. Settles? 
Dobra, zejdziemy w dół. Wejdziemy sobie tu i pogadamy z Markusem. Excuse me. Hmm? 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 Markus, I need the... I'm playing. Yes, but I urgently need the... Later! But when I'm a mage diploma, I can't... Listen, I really haven't got time right now. My character's tax return is due. I've been playing towards it for days. Not a prayer. I'm not going to get a blessed thing from Master Marcus as long as that game is running. Trzeba ją wyłączyć, mały. No choice. No. Maszyna. Wuchaty demon. He's operating a machine. Oh really? Online. It says online. Whatever that means. My own Fiskarabi. I don't trust all this technology. The way I see it, it's all magic. Without the magic. Mm. The chair looks just like the chair the demon is sitting on. I guess it's a replacement. No, the server is so busy working that he won't notice a thing. Ona nie słyszycie jak ty gadasz. The chair is still standing, but it should tip over pretty easily. Mały słoik. A small black container. It could be an inkwell. Mm. A wiecie co to kałamasz to jest... The demon might notice if I were to take his inkwell and exact mm. a terrible revenge. Jak się pisze piórem to jest ta... ta, ta farba czy to tam to... Sorry, couldn't resist. The safe is locked. And there's no way I can crack it. Oh, it's not there are a lot of index cards in the filing cabinet. Not card, there's so a small table and a picture. Oh, yeah. The cards are sorted alphabetically. Hmm, let's see. Rare water in can, volume 5 liters. Used for geraniums, increases potted plant lifespan by two. Huh. Perfect folder, offers room for up to 16 forms. Slip resistant suspenders, prevents sock slippage. Hmm. These index cards seem to contain descriptions of all the items in the game. Now, let's see if we can annoy the demon. <laughs> oh, that demon's fast. He must have amazing intellectual powers. The waste bin is right under the slot in the machine. Strange. The waste bin is empty. That service chair is a pretty brick. He sure bounces around on that chair. No wonder there's a replacement chair within reach. Hmm, let's see. Not for sure, let's look. Ah! Oh, what's going on now? The server's gone crazy. Completely buggy. Oh, I've just about had enough of this. <laughs> you pay all that money month after month, the developers make huge profits and still nothing works. Everything they've got is junk. All a whole load of totally outdated technology. I've had enough. I'm writing a complaint. If they don't get their technical problems under control, then I'm out of here. Absolutely. Me too. Excellent. It looks like all I have to do is ensure a second technical problem, and the two will finally stop playing. The first complaint from the player's like He sure bounces. The server seems to be bug-free again. At least he's... It doesn't look like he makes many mistakes. If I want the players to quit the game due to... I saw the base of the replacement chair. The chair will collapse as soon. Time for another go. Dawaj, dawaj, mały, mały. Dwa stop. Made of flesh and blood. Hey, what's going on? Nothing's working. Jak przywaliło. That's the server. Leży się dupo, jeszcze to nie nabiło. And I'm 
standing in a restricted parking zone right now. Ah! That's it. I can't be bothered anymore. I'm taking this in. They'll suffer the consequences for what they're doing. Right. Well, I'll give them one more chance. But just one. It's not like we couldn't stop if we wanted to. We could, but we don't want to. Too right. Except if they don't get to grips with their problems. Then it's over. Write that to them. No way. What will it take to finally get those two to stop playing? Dai mo se budi. He seems to have survived the crash well enough. The demon might notice if I were to take his ink well. I think I've strained the database. He seems to have survived the crash. He seems to, and that makes two complaints in the bin. Those two aren't going to take much more of this. And that makes two. The demon might notice. Mm. This machine is controlled by the hairy demon behind. Somehow I have to disturb his work. The mage teacher and the merchant aren't going to be much use as long as the game is running. This machine is controlled somehow. I Magazine, get it? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are you still playing in the face of all these technical problems? Quite honestly, I'm fed up with it. You just want to play in peace, and time and again the technology screws it up for you. I really can't be bothered with it anymore. If oh come on. Let's go and see if anything's happening at the driving license issuing office. Mm. Mm. If we had, wouldn't you rather just quit playing? Maybe you're right, but I've just got to fill out this form, and then I must get a new cleaning cloth for my glasses. And we need to go and pick up the rent subsidy certificate down at the citizens' residential registration office. All oh, right, but then we can extend the loan period at the library while we're at it. Maybe one of the books is even overdue. <sighs> I fear I have to ensure there's a third technical problem. Well then. Mm. A very dirty drink. Yeah. Not a chance. It won't let itself be caught that easily. And besides, I wouldn't know what to do with the rabbit anyway. I mean, except just love it a bit. <laughs> I already have enough creep. This must be the last market stall the merchant mentioned. Nothing more is going to be sold here as long as the merchant is still playing that strange game. This must be the nothing. Hey, what? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I might notice if I were to take his ink well and exact it. And that makes two complaints in the bin. <laughs> he seems to. Excuse me. Mm hmm? <laughs> Why are you still playing in the? Quite honestly, I'm fed up. You just died, oak. Mm. Wouldn't you rather me? Uh, oh. 
Well then. Mm. Thanks for nothing. I'm just asking you to go into the room. A basket. It belongs to Mr. Shieldhand. It can. I saw you eating something, and then you what? Oh yes, you were. It was a long. And if I was, and that's a whole crateful that's been delivered, and I'm taking. That's that food for the hairy demon in the tavern. What do you mean, a demon? That's a monkey. <laughs> a what? A monkey. monkey. Monkeys love bananas, and me too. Oh no. Would you let me try a banana? No. Mm, no. I've already eaten two. If you would excuse me, I have to. Uh, you want to eat more of them, right? Perhaps. Hello, Mr. Sh Hello, Wilbur. Wilbur. About the food. Yes. Hmm. It's Where did you get the the, food? the role play company sends a crate every week by air freight. I receive them and take them to the tavern. Maybe I can deliver the bananas to the tavern. <laughs> bananas. Help. No, that comes under my area of responsibility, and you have to get on with becoming a graduate mage. <laughs> Fuck you. It's much for us to be that you take a couple of those things from every delivery. Uh, um. Well, perhaps it's not officially. Hmm. And if I were to tell the arch, perhaps. But how are you going to meet the arch mage? You got a mage diploma? Bend the meow. Those two players get really upset about technical difficulties in their role-playing game. Yes. And? Could the difficulties be related to the fact that someone is depriving the hairy demon of his food? Um. Well, no. I can't imagine that. What if we ask the merchant and the mage teacher what they think about it? After all, they pay a lot of money to ensure that the game works. Well, I... And if it really is due to the lack of fruit, maybe they would like their money back. Uh. All right. Here's a banana. You have to peel the skin off it before you can eat it. Now get out of here. Oh, thanks ever so... Nada. Maybe I can distract him with this. Hey, demon, look what I have here. What's going on now? Can you do anything? <laughs> no, everything's locked up. I've got lag. Mum <laughs> lag. Lag. This is cool, is it? I'm not going to get upset about it. Why should I get upset about it? What? I started playing this game because it was fun. It isn't anymore. It's just a fun. And if it isn't fun, then you should just stop playing it. Devil! <laughs> Bill, are you all right? Bill, you, you've got to breathe. <laughs> Come on, let's get some fresh air. We'll pick up where we left off in a few days, okay? I did it. At last, they stopped playing. I'll be able to have a halfway normal conversation with them now. The mage teacher simply must lend me a diploma. How else can I get into the tower? Offline. <laughs> the demon might notice if I were to... The game is over. I wonder if he's happy. The game is over. It wasn't quite enough for a third complaint. Ah, I have my computer for some reason. Oh, cool, Hinda. I forgot that my computer. The merchant doesn't look particularly happy. 
Hello, Mr. Merchant. What do you want? I want to buy something. Why are you so grumpy? I've been asking myself why you look so grumpy. It's got nothing to do with you, is it? Not directly, but everything's going down the pan. Everything. Well, my beautiful market stalls have been burned down. My shop is closed, and it's all thanks to that dirtbag. You mean the Shadow Army? Our own leader. Instead of just faffing around, they should have gone straight in and hit them hard. It was all right in the past. I used to sell 500 arrows a day. Mana potions by the gallon. Power elixirs. Invulnerability wow. potions. <laughs> all the good stuff. But nowadays, no one's buying anymore. Death. All dead. And who cares about my turnover? Nobody. Huh? Oh, how terrible. And then there's that damn king of thieves. He'd have the cheese off my sandwich if I didn't look out. Who's that? A miserable thieving rat. He pinched everything edible off my stall while I was playing WOB. WOB. thieving all over before. Now, since all the traders have gone, he just steals from me. Somehow I don't find that entirely illogical. <laughs> what? It's unfair, that's what it is. Uh, but with us honest traders, he's able to do that. If I could catch the King of Thieves for you, what would that be worth to you? You? How would a little squirt like you deal with the King of Thieves? The King is even smaller than I am. Besides, I have experience at hunting rats. <laughs> well, it can't hurt, I suppose. But I don't want him caught. I want to see him dead. Kill? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Here's my offer. You kill the rat and bring me his mask as proof. And as a reward, you can choose three items from my fine range of goods. And get a move on. I'm off out of here soon. What can an honest, hard-working trader still do in a place like this? I want my revenge. And then, my peace and quiet. <laughs> Akurat. I'm not allowed into the upper town, but I need to see the Archmage. It's urgent. Don't tell me the miserable town guard won't let you through. I've been living in this town for 30 years, and I've never been up there yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to pay up so that the beautiful people can all live nice and posh up no. there in the upper town. But will they let us in? <laughs> no. No way. Luckily, I'm a non-taxpayer on principle. Czekajcie, mały cięcie. Ja już do was wracam, kochani. Masz przy wam... Chciałbym coś kupić. Sprzedajesz może przypadkiem dyplomy magę? You don't happen to have any mage diplomas, do you? Or invitations from the archmage? Kurde. In front, next to the free gold. I don't see anything I want to buy. Maybe later. <laughs> I have to... If you have... A weather vane in a mage school. I wonder if my parents will be able to accept the fact that I'm different. Oh, wow. Can I help you? Na zdrowie. Cicho bądź. Takie śliczne para okularów. Wow. Nice glasses you wear. Hej kurde. Mm? Oh, these. These are magic glasses. We mages can read invisible secrets. Kto mnie widzi, co tam jest napisane? Something like that really exists. Oh, Nie. Cool. Many mages are very distrustful and guard their knowledge like a treasure. And what are you reading there? The weekly magical paper, classified section. Wow. Mm, I need to see the archmage, Master Marcus. It's urgent. Why are you bothering me with that? The archmage and I, we aren't necessarily the best of friends. I can't get into the upper part of the town without a mage diploma. I understand, and what should I do about it? I thought, well, maybe you could lend me a diploma. I urgently need to give something to the archmage. Something important, 
for the good of the world. Everything that good does is, after all, important, right? Yeah. But I can't help you. I can't just award degrees to any old Tom, Dick, or Harry. The maid already has me under close. Harry, Harry, Harry Potter. I must just not play any more games. There can be no other way. I must give the Archmage something important. I'm not going to take it to him. And Bill the Merchant is not permitted in the upper town. There's the town guard. He could take it up there for you. I, I, I can't. I swore to give it to the Archmage personally. Then, my little friend, you're going to have to become a mage graduate. Hmm. So much for you. So much for you. Can I do that? Become a certified mage, I mean. Of course, anyone can be whatever they want if only they desire it enough. Yes, that's true. No, it's not. But I can try, can't I? Most people have so little magic in them that they can't even cast one itty bitty spell in their whole life. I want to try. Don't be silly. What else should I do? I'm certainly not going to just sit around here and do nothing. So, can I become a student? Oh. All right then, Mr. Gnome. Wilbur Weathervane. <laughs> then, Wilbur Weathervane, if you want to be admitted to this mage school, you need a mage's robe. Not just any old rags, of course, something substantial made of magical fabric. Then you need a wand. Mm -hmm. That's your most important tool as a mage. Well, <laughs> besides your mind. And thirdly, a pile of gold. Gold? A whole pile of it. If I'm going to be wasting my me? time, I at least want to get paid for it. Fine. And how fast? That depends entirely on you. As a pupil of this establishment, you can take your exam at any time. Some manage very quickly. <laughs> Most never pass at all. Point If you say so. Spencer is a bit cynic. Więc to było na tyle w tym odcinku. Myślę, że wam się spodobał. Zapraszam was do innych serii. Mówił dla was Max. I cześć.